Hello everyone, this is episode 4. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and become a member for $1.99 Canadian. Click the join button. So we ended up in Havana and I want us to go to uh, Andros. So let's just head off straight away. So in the last episode, I got a caravel, which is pretty awesome. So now the caravel is like 1100 strength, I believe, or 1200. So I need the other two flutes are, are kind of weak now in comparison, at least. Okay, we're almost there. We're in the territory of Cuba. Oh, wow. Oh, so we're only 2300 strength. So I don't know if I can get to Andros. So if I go for this guy, I'm definitely going to lose a couple of ships. <laughs> Most likely all three. So that's just not, it's not, not a good idea to go there. So let's just check our check our missions here. There's a campaign. So we can go to the where's Port Royal again? Yeah, we could just head down there. So it's in this direction so I'll just have to swing around yeah there's some pirates up here too so what would that be it's about 700 and something I mean, it's probably very challenging. They don't seem too interested in us either. I, I think they're too far away now. So let's keep heading down to Port Royal. Oh, as soon as I paused it, this pirate showed up. So this, this could be a very good fight. It's be a nice uh, ship here. Oh, a galleon. So I'm assuming there's like no upgrades to this. Because a galleon, I think it's better than a caravel. Okay, are we facing the... No, we're facing him. It's a good chance... He he gets a uh, first shot here because I can't really maneuver too well. Okay, so he didn't get the first shot. That's probably the best I'll do there. So choose a port or star bar for the first opponent that comes in. First opponent that comes into range to. Okay, we'll try that. So I can just choose which side. Not sure what the chances are of him moving there. Must have gotten him on, yeah, starboard. I may as well use this. Ah, oh, cool.
Okay, so it just attacks the hall. So we'll get him port side. I think I missed. We're just going to soften him up. Wherever, wherever we can. Oh, so I did hit him. Did I get... Yeah, it looks like I hit him as he, uh... He went past us. Okay, what happened to my cannons? So these are not loaded, so... It Yeah, so like using that ability reduced my, my load time. So that wasn't worth it. So they have 150, I have 98. So I guess I'll just sort of uh, get out of the way. Ooh, 68. I don't want him to come between us, so I'll get him from here. Hopefully get him on the starboard side. Uh, barely hit him. Ooh, 44. I've got a ton of armor though. Okay, it looks like the port side is the weakest. But I'll just see what I can do. It's gonna be the aft. Oh no, we got the port side. And just come around the other side. Oh, he got between us. Yeah, two shots there. It's a bad move. So I guess I could hit him starboard. Might be the only option here. So I wonder how much I could try this again. So I didn't really see how much damage it did last time.
Am I gonna crash into that? I think I'll be okay here. Okay, nice. So now I can just start uh, weakening him, get doing some grape shots. Oh, it's the... It's not good. Well, I could go for his sails or something. A grape shot. Oh, that's the port side. Well, it, it would have been risky doing a, a cannon shot there because I could very easily sink him. So I think I'll just sort of get turned around here and then we'll try to board him. And I'll have Seamus uh, do some grape shots. Hopefully I can get a grape shot in here. It's kind of awkward to target him, but that's okay right there. Oh, I, do I not have a... Uh, hmm. Sure why I can't do that. Oh, that was awesome. I'm not sure if uh, the ship is in a boarding fight. Additional ships by dock and engage for support. So I, I guess that could be support, or you might sweep the enemy deck with the cannon salvo. So it at least provides support. side that uh, I'm not gonna be able to hit him so, so my ship is boarded by the enemy Okay, that's excellent. So what? I, yeah, I should have. Uh, hopefully, I can go here and shoot him. 
Okay, that's good. And then she's just, she's weak, port side. Not sure if this will work. Failed. I can't believe I I failed so terribly that first time. Failed. Yeah, things turn it's turned bad real fast. So there is a fifty two percent chance. Please. If I get Seamus to board it's becoming better. Okay, good. Okay, this is awesome. So 40 wood, 140 card liver oil. Oh, there's the gun, some gunpowder. So some of this stuff we can do those missions. Really want us to get some materials for them. And if we already have it, we can just do the mission right then and there. I'm not going to make anyone walk the plank. Wow. So it's not just a galleon, it's a pirate galleon. So this may have some pros and cons. But, oh, it's only 70 hull and 76 armor. And that's without hull tier 2. Yeah, so a galleon is uh, kind of, seems to be more of a trade ship. Same as the Caravel. Oh, my, my Caravel only has uh, 28 armor? But it's a large ship, so that 28 is probably a lot to get through. 240 on the flute. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense for the caravel. I'll have to examine this more closely. Yeah, because like the whole tier one gives 22 armor. Karen had five to 13. But it's a much stronger ship. I'll give this to Seamus. Can't really see the... How many cannons does it have? So anyways, I'll just confirm. From letting him go? No, we're fine. So I think I'll give Seamus that Galleon. So the normal range is four. That's a special gun. So how many cannons do they get? They get seven cannons. But they get eight. But the flute only gets four. So I'll give uh, this to Seamus.
Yeah, so I want to check my ship though. So I wish you would tell me like how much armor I have on the sides. Okay, here's my caravel. Now it it said 28. So maybe the four was cut off. So armor plane per side 71. Okay. So that that's not great. Oh, okay, here we go. Armor plane per side 147 and 60. So my flag, my caravel is definitely upgraded over the flute. So I'm gonna make the galleon's gonna be my my new flagship. We'll just have to get it upgraded, and then we'll give Seamus the caravel. Okay, so this is nice. Let's see where we can do some upgrades. I, th I think in uh, Port Royal we can do some. So let's go and get patched up in uh, Maricoa. Wow, that's 1,554. Hundred and forty seven. Okay, I'll, I'll accept that. That's all we can really do here, and uh, we'll just have to focus on getting more, getting our our crew to max. Oh, that guy's probably gonna come for us. Oh, I'm so tempted to. So, what? Would... Is that like a ship of the line? So even if we like, yeah, ship of the lion, it is too. Even if I lose two of these ships to gain that, it could could be amazing. Super risky though. Okay, we're gonna have to draw him in. I want to get. So, uh, we could probably turn around up here. I mean, one hundred and fifty people. It looks like I would crash right there. So, go right there. Get two shots on the port side. So, what does he have? 194 is the max. So, I got two good shots there. Uh, I'm not going to use this ability. 
Oh, wow, that's pretty good range. Is that good enough? I might hit the aft. It looks like I got port side. Okay, so that... Oh, I should let go of the boat. Oh, he missed. Okay. Oh, I'm off the starboard that side that time. Uh So one to six per damage per round. Wow, oh did Wow, that was it's a good hit. So if they can take out I don't know if I can take his armor yet. Every little mistake I make, it's a pretty huge impact though. So 18 points left. Oh, there's one point. <laughs> I do that side because I, I just shot those cannons, starboard cannons. Okay, nice. 15 crew. So this would be the time to. So next round, I will. Attempt to board him. Okay, so that's his port side, so I want to board him from starboard. If I can. So that's only 52%. That's only a spot I can go to. Cannons aren't loaded. Oh, beautiful. Twenty four, so he's down to one hundred and eleven. So that's the best spot. Okay, he's boarded. Well, I've got full armor, so I, I can just do grape shots wherever. Yeah, I, I can't go directly into that rock.
So maybe I'll just get myself positioned differently for next round. Okay, good. Twelve more. Yeah, maybe I'll just come around this way. I build a turn up around here. Do the same thing. We'll just work our way around. Oh, wow, that's so brutal. That worked. Seventy percent now. Wow, my morale is really bad. I have to get. I have to get her uh, to go and help out. So there's thirty-two percent. It's not a good chance, but. I think I hinted it as well. So that's safe. So I'm just going to have a keg of rum. Oh, it's not even worth it. It's a 5% chance. Oh, successful? Well, definitely. Okay, that's good. Come on, just finish it. It's 58% chance. Wow. So I ship with a line. This might, this might be like the, the best you can get. 151 wood, 30 sugar, 96 tobacco pipe. Yeah, we'll welcome them aboard. So what do you have, 42 pounders? Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, this is definitely my new flagship. So 128 crew. So right here it says eight armor, but once I Yeah, this is this is 284 armor, but it says 28. Okay, wow, this is awesome. So let's take a look at this. I think it tells us here. So 194 per side. We get nine cannons. We only have five crew members of 150. 
So for this, we have 150 max, 147 each side. So that's the board in strength. So let's go ahead and switch to ship of the line. So we'll have to get all the upgrades for this. And then, yeah, I guess I'll give Seamus the Pirate Galleon. I'll give Anne Bonnie Caraval. Wow, we're definitely getting stronger, but I've, I've really got to deck these ships out, get all the upgrades. So we, already, we just stopped at Barracoa. I'm going to have to head down to yeah, Port Royal. Port Royal, I think it is. Okay, so we've arrived. Go oh, and get some cannons here. I might stick with the cannons I have for now because they're all kind of different. So here's the informant. So you can't even enjoy your breakfast ramen peace these days. Who are you and what do you want? I'm Joel, captain of the flagship, and I was told you might have some information on the Spanish treasure fleet. All right, Joel, captain of the flagship, get lost. Oh, I yeah, I should have did the other one where... My first mate told me you sailed with the Spanish treasure fleet. Well, he didn't... I've tried that before. He, just, he doesn't tell me, but I have to... Uh, just basically... Oh, here's a pirate here. Basically, just get my... Uh, what? What happened? Oh, that's for the informant. Okay, you approach the table. I don't know. Looted... 10 French convoys? Yeah, at least. Yeah, I must have looted at least 10 French. Maybe it'll start now. But I can come, well, I can come back for her, but I've got to be level 10, which I might be next time I divide the booty. So did we buy a round yet? Yeah, so I'm going to have to just travel around a bit and just get my crew maxed out. I mean, I could have tried to divide the booty. That would have been a better thing to do. Shardo Padre. I'm not sure what that is. If it's down towards uh, the English, that'd be good. Oh, so we had to escort his ship. That would be, a uh, different. And it's... I don't see this, the skulls. Ah, uh, that might be... Might be a terrible idea. Okay, so let's go to the harbor master and we'll get everything repaired. I'll test out the 42 pounders again. It's good to have uh, different ranges. So, so carry nade is normal range of four out of 13 damage. 
I guess it doesn't hurt to have. So I'll get one of those. Oh wait, no, I don't want to have uh if it switches out, let's go to the port. No, I'll go to the cannon caster. So that's level guns. They're too small to cause but they're actually suited for fighting enemy seamen. So yeah, this is uh definitely something to get. A light mortar. So you attack for long distances, five to nine, so that could be good too. So yeah, I'll get I should get rid of the pirate bark now. Wow, 70,000. Oh, hang on to the... to this. So that's for support. Well, let's pull a gun and we can get that. So I, I don't know how useful a fireboat is. I think I would prefer to have... So we'll get that. I think I prefer to have a light mortar, so I, if I'm at if I'm at a good distance, I can sort of just pick them off until they get closer. We'll see how that works. If I don't like it, I can just sell it later. So this is the flute. Oh, so here's a Karenad. So that's like five to thirteen. Yeah, I'll have a diverse amount of uh, gear. That's defensive, so I'll just get the mortar for him. Okay, so I'll probably uh, I'll end the episode here, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, this was a really every episode is going really well. Uh, I'm not sure what the Queen Anne is like. I'll have to get one of those. And just sort of uh, test out these ships and see what, which ones I like. And I should look at a map right now too. So it'd be a good time to actually... So for the next episode, I'll come down to the English territories, which... They start up around over here, I think. I'll come around down here. And I'll start doing missions for the governors. And uh, pretty soon, I maybe next episode, I'll divide the booty. I, I'm not too worried about losing gold. Eh? You can get it back uh, pretty fast. Yeah, so this game's getting better and better. It's really fun. We'll see what it turns out in the middle game or late game, but I think there's a lot of uh, playtime left in this game. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.